Okay, it's a new it's a new night, I should say. I was about to say it's a new day. I still haven't fully healed, so I'm gonna eat some food here. Let's eat something that's really cheap. Let's eat a pear. Try and heal up a bit. God, grant me patience. Be alert. I wonder if Declan Lavarden is gonna be out. I wanted to talk to him. Let me just pop in here really quick and see if he's here. If not, we'll we'll continue on what we were doing before. Is Declan here? Mm, no. The reason I ask is I'm saying that is because I think Declan actually uh, will purchase some of my jewelry that I have accumulated. Be alert. What is that? Oh, we've got Bargusts. Ooh, and we still don't have a silver sword. Well, here we go. Well, that was fast. Ooh, we can get the Bargus Skulls. We might be able to complete that quest. Alright, it's been a while, but time for some combat. Oh, great. This quest. Hang on. I don't remember the... What's the button for quick saving? Is it F5? Yep, it's F5. Why you being so gentle with Looks her? like Miss Vesna has unwanted Try visitors. Try rough, I dare you! Oh, this shrew needs to... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to skip that. I don't think I missed anything, though. Can't wait. Is that you? Witcher, help! Piss off, Whitey! No monsters here! Excuse me? Do have the balls to fight a Witcher, Butch? Shut it, woman! I'll show you balls! <laughs> Look at his tattoo. What a garbage tattoo. <sighs> <laughs> Look at this. I could just walk away. You're no. To lose those we're helping. You'll be Absolutely, sorry. we're helping. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm injured. Just how tough you are. What the heck kind of move is that, Geralt? <laughs> Kill. Kill. Oh my gosh, that is really hard to time. No, oh, come on. Come on, get him. Get him. Oh, thank goodness. Woo. I don't like this quest. It's really me? stressful. I fear the dogs and thugs, but I need to get home. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> You're a big girl. Get out of here. Certainly. Rap. How's her health? Yeah, see, look at that. This is why I hate this quest. Oh, I hate it. Tattoo made by a crayon. That is what it looks like, isn't it? Um, This quest is one of my least favorites in the game because it's really easy to fail. I have to be really on top of my game. This is one of the few quests where I don't mind save scumming on, specifically because the failure rate is very high. I'm also playing on the hardest difficulty, which makes it so difficult to complete. I can say with 80% certainty that I will fail this quest if I don't save scum at least a little bit. That is how hard it is. All right. It's an escort quest. We all know how much we love escort quests now, don't we? Uh, hello? Let's just rob these guys, their corpses here. Also, we could grab the... one of these. Like the, the club. Those who hustle always get rewarded. We could sell those later on. Got some more remains. A light club. Some more alcohol. There's a ghoul over there. We do need ghoul's blood. But we don't actually have information on ghouls, I don't think. Alright. Let's heal a little bit here. Let's eat a pear. Maybe I should drink a swallow potion. They don't last very long, so I'll wait. Now, you can stack healing items, but only if it's a healing item of a different, like, food group. So I can- I cannot eat a blueberry, I don't think. Well, I'm not sure how it works. It's really finicky. Some foods will stack and some will not. I do know that a bread and a pear will stack. Crap! It doesn't! Why is a- why doesn't a pear and a bread not stack? What's going on here? Alright, well, what about a blueberry? Can I stack it with a blueberry? No, it doesn't stack. I- 
I'm not just making this up. Sometimes the food will stack and you will have two of these symbols up here. I just don't know what does it. We'll have to experiment and try and figure it out here. All right. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I think maybe I should use a swallow. Crap. All right, he's coming. No, Vesna. Vesna, stay back. Let me deal with this, Vesna. Don't you dare come any closer. No! He's hitting her! Dang it, she's gonna die! Geralt, do something! Nothing's happening here. Nothing's happening. I swear I was clicking the button. Oh, Geralt, you bastard. Uh-oh. Do something, Geralt. <laughs> no, this is awful. This is the worst. I might have to start over, guys, because she took way too much damage. All right, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, nice. I did not expect that. My health went down so fast. Eh. Hey, my dear. You remember how you managed uh, to complete both lighting altars and escorting quests? Two birds with one stone. Yeah, absolutely. Two, vli two flies, one hit. Yeah, you got that right, Kramer. That's totally what we're going to do. I think I would have remembered once I saw an altar, but thanks for the reminder. We can light the flames as we go around doing this. Well, let's load. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, I only have this one. Well, at least now I'm technically not safe scumming. I just died. Right? Maybe I can get through this next bit with her having more health. This quest is the worst. <laughs> Shoot, let me get some healing going on here, too. Let's eat this pear. Maybe wait a bit. Why are you being so gentle? Looks like Miss Vesna has unwanted Try visitors. Being rough, I dare you. Oh, this shrew needs taming. This shrew needs taming. Alright, can I approach them with my sword out, I wonder? You just, you know, get in there and You'll attack. Darn sorry. it! No, Geralt! Take your sword out. See just how tough you are. Is that you? Piss off, White. Don't have the ball. Shut. You're apt. All right. Take out the sword. Let's see if we can get them all in a. Uh... Oh, we stunned him. Good. That's the fast one. I like that. Let's see just how tough you are. I'm using group style here. Whoa! Look at the group style. Look how amazing this is. Die, bastard. Oh my gosh. It's really hard to time the new combos because they're all different. Food can stack. Okay, you might have the rules of how to stack. So any meat plus any dairy plus any sweet. I'll try that, Madeir, because we were experimenting with this earlier and I had a uh, I had a piece of bread with a pear and they did not stack. Also, the blueberry and the bread does not stack either. So we, we've been experimenting with it. Certainly. How much health does she have? Oh, that's much better. I'm gonna save. Is that is that bad if I save? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this quest is the worst. I don't want to keep just doing it over and over again. All right, let's get the rye. All night long drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, this will be the day that I die. Oh, crap. Those remains are really close to that ghoul. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. The group style is very powerful. Wicked. Today you hit something with the side of your hand, and I probably pinched a nerve, and it hurts like crap. Oh, no. Oh, no, Kramer. Don't be hitting... Don't be trying... See, that's what you get for trying to hit multiple flies in one hit. Take it easy, man. Take it slow. Hit one fly at a time. I hope your hand gets, gets better pretty quick. What am I going to do with the food stacking here? Let's try a bread. So the bread, what, I don't know what food category that is, but let's try... Uh, let's try a chicken leg. Yes! The chicken leg and the bread stacks. Oh, thank goodness. Fruits for some reason count as dairy. Oh. Does bread count as dairy as well? I think so. Maybe it's like herbivore stuff, and then like sweet stuff, 
and then carnivore stuff, you know? Like, those are the three categories that stack. Maybe that's a good way to put it. Like, dairy is an herbivore thing. Although, technically, it's not, is it? What I want to do is I want to get the ghoul to come to me. Because if I go over there, do you see that dog? It's going to turn into a bar guest, and I'm going to have to fight both of them at the same time. Maybe if I inch a little bit closer. You know, the problem here, and you guys know how this goes, this is why people hate escort quests. It wouldn't be so bad if Vesna stayed back and let me do the fighting, but she charges in with her little dagger like she's going to kill the ghoul all by herself and gets herself killed. Hmm. Come on. No, Vesna, you fool. Oh, kill it. We got lucky there. All right, let's go get this. Let's go get this Bargast. Come on. All right, we killed it pretty fast. How's Vesna doing? You doing all right, Vesna? Did she get hit? Holy crap, look at her life. Are you kidding me, Vesna? Do you guys see this? What the hell? Wait, what's happening here? Oh my gosh, Vesna, you... I hate her so much. She got bit one time by the bar guest, and look at her health. It's like almost completely gone. I'm sorry, but this is gonna... I'm gonna start getting a little bit mad. I'm gonna start tilting here because of this quest. I can't stand it. <laughs> Oh, it's the worst. It's so bad. All right. Is there a way to heal Vesna? Oh, come on. No rest for the wicked, huh? All right, Vesna, you get that one. Kill it. Stab it. Yes, Vesna. Yes, Vesna. You rock. Oh, shoot. It's another freaking ghoul. Vesna, kill it. I really need something uh, to heal with here. Let's eat, uh, shoot, let's eat this. Oh shoot, I stopped fighting when I'm eating food. Kill it! Come on, Geralt. <gasps> no, she's dead! Vesna, I hate you so much. Ah! Vesna's dying of the plague. Or perhaps maybe, I'm surrounded! Run, Geralt, run! Oh, no! Oh, no. This is a lot harder than I remember it. I was dreading this quest, but I don't remember it being this difficult. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. Let's get in there. I'm learning each time. <sighs> let's do this. It's just so difficult to draw aggro from these creatures. Alright, we need to eat. Get some bread. Get some chicken. I said let's get some chicken. And I think I'm going to drink a swallow potion. Alright. Come on, you darn ghoul. All right, we stunned it. That's good. Let's go to the fast style here. Oh my gosh, nope, brute style. Oh, fast style. All right, you know what I might want to do? I might just want to run. What if you put chicken sandwich... What if you eat chicken sandwich? Does it stack as a meat or as a dairy? I'm gonna guess meat. Yeah, Madir said meat. That would make sense. Technically both. Alright, let's collect what we can. And then let's get out of here. Because I think the longer I wait here, the more likely it is that things are gonna stump, come and try and kill me. Wait, are there some remains that I forgot? I think so. Hang on. Yeah, I should pick these up. The alcohol is actually really useful. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. There's another rabid dog. Maybe if we stick to the right side. Wait, wait, wait. 
How is her health? Can I turn around here? Her health is really good. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I don't care if it's safe scumming or not. This is this quest is ridiculously hard. Let's just stay away from the shrines. I know we can light the shrine and kill two birds with one stone. But I'm gonna prioritize Vesna living. If you light that shrine, a whole bunch of Barghists show up. And I am not about to deal with that right now. We're, we're, we're going. Forget it. Moving on. I can come back to get the shrines. It's not a big deal. Oh, shoot. Here they come. <gasps> what the heck? What's happening to me? Group style. Group style. Come on. Gangnam style. Let's go. Oh, Geralt, no! <laughs> what is happening? Why is this so bad? Oh, right, two flies in one hit. <laughs> I better get in the habit now, right, Kermir, if I'm gonna get this going over here in the States. Kill it. Oh, shoot. What's happening here? It's those dogs. Those A cutscene in the middle of the fight? Right. A cutscene right now? Are you serious? And now he put his sword away because of the cutscene? Thank you. Thanks, Witcher. Enhanced edition, folks. They didn't get rid of the cutscene in the middle of the fight. Just so you know, I do love this game. You may see me get mad at it in this particular mission, but I do love this game. It's great. What's happening here? Okay, there we go. By the way, um, I don't know if any of you played the original Witcher before the Enhanced Edition, but you may not, may or may not remember waiting for like five minutes sometimes for a loading screen. For like five minutes, I kid you not. The loading screens in this game are notoriously bad, and having those guys fix it in the Enhanced Edition is the single greatest thing ever. It is amazing. It makes this game so much better. All right, let's kill this stupid dog here. You, die. I'm blocking him with my body. <laughs> I know, he says you're all right, they're gone. Right. Come on, Vesna. Hey, Hunter, why don't you come over here and help us out? I don't like that sound. Vesna, keep moving! Alright, this is the part where I need to really hug the wall. Where they're gonna show up. Hug the wall, hug the wall. Oh, here they come. Oh no, there's a lot! Oh! Oh, holy crap. See, this is when the cutscene is supposed to happen. It's those dogs. Those hellhounds. You're all right. They're gone. Oh, look at her health. Look at that. Look how pitiful this is. I can't even see the end of the... Okay, there it is. Uh, it's not that bad. She's like halfway. Let me collect my spoils because we at least can kill... Is that a ghoul? It is a ghoul. I kind of want to kill it. Oh no! What have I done? Vesna, run! Vesna, don't fight it! Run! What's going on here? Alright, where's that ghoul? You, come here. Fight it, Geralt! Oh, I just front flipped over Vesna. No, Vesna! Vesna! Why did I do this? Oh my gosh. She's dead! Oh, dang it! Just kill me. Just kill me. I'm gonna read chat. I'm gonna go to my happy place and ignore what is happening in front of me. 
If thou failed again, then I recommend to make three to four blizzards. Your favorite potion, huh? I have a blizzard. But, again, I don't really feel like that's... I don't remember exactly what blizzard does. Is that the one that slows down time? There is a potion that kind of slows down time. They can't even kill me, Geralt is so strong. I used the uh, the F9 key that Kremir suggested. Oh. Alright. It's honestly not a big deal if you fail this quest, by the way. So if you would prefer not to do any save scumming, then by all means, skip this quest. It's perfectly fine. But the reason why... I'm pushing for it is because the rewards are not that big of a deal anyway. I feel like I'm not cheating too much, you know? But I still want to show you guys the completion of the quest, so I'm doing it. I think the answer to my problem here is avoidance. Avoid everything. We can come back to fight the ghoul. Run, Vesna! Vesna, let's go! Let's run! Oh my gosh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Just run it through everything. Let's go. Vesna, are you okay? How many dogs are chasing me? Oh my gosh, run. I don't know where she is. She's really slow. Oh, she's fighting them. Vesna, don't fight it. Don't fight it, Vesna. Oh shoot, that's a dead end. Vesna, we gotta get out of here. There's a lot of them. Go, 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 go. You just remembered the swamps, and that place does not mess around, even on normal difficulty. Yeah. All right, everybody help. Let's fight them off. Where's Vesna? Vesna? Oh, crap. <gasps> no! Is she dead? I can't tell. What's happening? I can't see. The game's broken. <laughs> What's happening? I'm blind. Uh, hello? Hello? The game is, is just gone here. Oh my gosh. Scene machine broke, huh? Can I just wait? Do I just wait till I die? What do I do here? Is there a hotkey for exiting to the main menu? I tried doing the F9 and then hitting enter, but that doesn't work. I'm still alive. The dogs can't even kill me. I've got Swallow on. <laughs> They're just going to keep on trying to kill me until Swallow runs out. I can't F9. If I F9 I, and I hit enter, and nothing happens. I have to actually click OK with the mouse. I think I'm dead, so it's fine. Yeah, see? I'm dead. Took him long enough. So, running, maybe not the best idea. Maybe a mixture of running and fighting. This is like... This is almost as hard as a, a Dark Souls boss. Don't hate me for saying that, but that's how I feel. No! What's happening here? We're gonna have to exit out of the game, folks, because... Something's wrong. Something is absolutely wrong. You remember the quest where the Scoia'tael uh, robbed the bank in the cellar? It was a bunch of Scoia'tael. You were supposed to just run through there. But you chose to fight everyone in there. <laughs> you were sure there was some secret dialogue or something uh, upon killing everyone? Nothing happened. So at that moment, I realized you lost 40 minutes of gameplay. Oh, boy. You can... Yeah. There's some interesting things that are going to come up. Buckle your seatbelts, folks, if you haven't actually played. Please work. I might have to completely exit the app and come back in. No, we're good. That worked. All right. All right, Vesna. Let's go. You know what? This time I'm going to try fighting. I'm also going to try lighting these. Can I, can I light it? No? What's going on here? Why can't I, uh... 
Why can't I light it? Ah, oh, screw it. Let's get out of here. Come on, Vesna. What is that? I think I've seen this before, but it's some sort of weird monkey creature that you see around sometimes. It's the freakiest thing in this game. Like, despite all of the, the horror, horrific things that happens, I'm still the most freaked out by that. No! Vesna! Kill it, Vesna! Vesna, why didn't you kill it? I stunned it for you. You suck, Vesna. Oh, goodness gracious. You loaded the game before the quest and this made a lot boss. of potions and oils it's in nice. advance. You're all right. They're gone. Yeah, you, you... Oh, no, they're not gone! They're not gone! Vesna, stab it in the, in the tail. Cut the tail off. That's the weakness. Are we good? All right, how are things here? All right, now we can light the shrine. Is this going to bring more? Looks like not. How's her health? Not good. Not good. I think maybe I should just run at this point. I'm going to try that. Well, at least run through here and then shoot. But a whole bunch of them pop up at this shrine, and I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Alright, Vesna. We're gonna make a break for it. We have to go past the shrine, but we don't have to fight. Vesna, run! I, this is the only way. I don't think we can win that fight. She's gonna die. If I run fast enough, she'll follow me. Oh, they're right behind me. You can see the glow. Alright, let's save her. Vesna, don't fight him. Let me take him. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Stressful. They came after us. Like something was controlling them. Yeah, get Let's inside go. before they come back. We're almost there. Vesna, go inside. I think she can still die now. Oh, this guy died. I'll take his horns. I'm waiting here until you go inside, Vesna. I'm protecting you no matter what. I'm also gonna save. You normally don't try to or don't load the game to change something, but only to try a different option or something to just to see. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, something interesting you can do in this game is save before a conversation or choice so that you can just see how the other one plays out for fun and then reload your save and make your original choice again just to keep playing the way that you you decided to. So that's a good point, a good way to use that. Come on, get inside the house, please. Vesna. Oh no, they're coming! Are they going to kill us in the cutscene? We're here. Thank you. How can I repay you? Shall we meet again? I don't know. I live with my grandma and I'd rather not shock her. What could possibly shock her? Everything. Except if we met to pray together. But listen. I knew this one place. The old mill. Secluded and quiet. Exactly. But people say it's haunted. I wouldn't want the miller's ghost disturbing us. Ghosts wouldn't dare disturb a witcher. Others will stay away out of fear. Settle then. I'll see you tomorrow after sunset. Bring wine, and I'll bring food. Ooh la la. Yeah, alien abduction cutscene. <laughs> With the green glow. <laughs> The blood just flying everywhere. Oh, there's one behind me. Wait, no! I accidentally hit this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to fight him. Oh, no! I accidentally killed the militia. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. There's a lot of bar guests. My goodness. Is 
did it. So, I have just murdered the militiamen, but then again, he did call me foul-looking, so... Come on! Why are there so many? What's happening here? Let me just collect my loot and move on here. Here, maybe if we put on the eternal fire, maybe that will, like, scare them or something. More remains over here. You can stick a torch. Let's take care of, uh... Let's take care of this quest. No! Leave me alone. I have fought so many of you at this point. Just one? I got pretty lucky, actually. Nope! Let's get away from the shrine. I think they infinitely spawn. Oh, you think there's actually more of them because of the difficulty level? That's interesting. Alright, let's get going. I'm sure more are gonna pop up as I walk through here, but... Let's see if we can't get to, uh... Ooh, Selendine. Get to the other shrine that we passed up. Yeah, this one. Alright, just two more. Oh, can I get both of them? Get both of them, get both of them. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. Take that, and that, and that. I think we're good here. Where are the other shrines? One here. One here. That's Heron's Goods. I'm gonna go this way, actually. And we'll loop around to get Heron's Goods over here, if we have enough time tonight. As in, in the game, the game nighttime, not like, in real life. Nope, leave me alone, rabbit dog. I fought enough of you. What are you doing out here in the rain? Go inside, my good man. There's ghost dogs all over the place. Is that a shrine that we've already lit? Yep. I didn't pass it, did I? No, it's up ahead. How much time's left in the night? It's 1.30, so we've got time. We can make it. I want to get all of the shrines within this night cycle. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get both of these. Or can I? No. Oh, we, we gained a level. That's cool. Move on to the last shrine. Really? Oh, there's a ghoul! Let's run over here. Maybe the guards will help me. Ah, uh, we could take him, actually. Let me get some healing going on really quick. Oh, shoot. I have to wait and eat. I forgot about that. Oh, he's stunned. That is always great when that happens. See ya, Kramir. Oh, 
Oh, it's one more. Okay, now we got him. We are gonna have so many Barkus skulls. This is gonna be great. I'll take that. Thank you. You can get some Baileys. More Celandine. More Baileys. I'm gonna pop in here and talk to Abigail because... Oh no, I can't. The dog. Alright, let's go talk to Abigail. As soon as I can. Because we have a quest to give her 10 Bargast Skulls. I just want to see if there's anything different here. I must improve and beat Fat Fred. Okay. Abigail. Oh, and here's Alvin. We can check on him. Caroline is dead. The dogs ate her. Yeah, that did happen. What do you want? I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast Skulls? You just added up your total hours spent on Dark Souls 2. It's 166 hours combined on all nine characters. That's nuts. I do, they're yours for a price. I do. They're yours for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this Mandrake root. You might find it useful. Oh, thank you. Can I ask you Can something? I ask you something? If you must. I see you took Alvin in. Did you think I'd abandon an orphan? No, Besides, I didn't say that. Potential. What do you mean? He has powers perhaps beyond his control. For now, he sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtless I don't know what to make of her. Think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. She's either really manipulative or just really nice and jokes around a lot. I don't know which one it is, to be honest. We got some mandrake root. All right, I think I'm good here. Let us now continue on our quest. Probably going to have some more of those dogs show up soon, but we have one more shrine. Yep, here they come. All right, we're good here. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, even after the quest, you can still keep selling Abigail Bargus skulls. It's one of the best ways to get money in the beginning of the game. All right, there's the last shrine. Let's see if you can get there before any dogs show up. Also, I need to eat some food. Let's have this. And then we can have a dairy item. Let's have this. Great. Final, final shrine. Here come the monsters. Whoa, there's a lot. Where'd they go? That's weird, they disappeared. Did the fire actually work? That's the catch of every character. Thou cannot really say if he actually evil or good or if he act, as he acts, but more and more time pass, thou learn even more. Yep. Now then. Let's take a look at our quest log here. We can make our way over to the Drowner area. Lighting the fires did not drive the Bargus away. Well, it did for a moment, didn't it? That's always been weird to me. They disappear for a bit, but then one did come back. Do we have anything new in characters? Heron Brog, a suspicious character who fears only the Reverend. He sneers at the law and surrounds himself with thugs who protect his shady dealings. Brog lives in the outskirts, in a little lakeside settlement that he rules outright. He never strays far from his home. Grog runs a store trading in weapons and alchemical ingredients used to produce bombs. The Reverend. Uh, the leader of the community in the outskirts is a domineering priest of the eternal fire called the Reverend. His authority reaches well beyond the realm of the spiritual. People from the town and village in the outskirts do exactly what he says. The Reverend is a religious fanatic and hypocrite. Why is he a hypocrite? He easily finds guilt where it doesn't exist, ignoring real offenses. Oh. The Reverend lives in the town, just left of to the temple. During the day, he either prays or tends to the church. 
and Zoltan Shive. The dwarf's name is Zoltan Shive. He claims to have witnessed my death years ago in Rivia. Zoltan seems reasonable and pragmatic. He takes the world with a grain of salt and sees irony in most things. Just like other non-humans, he also seems vexed by the racist atmosphere in Temeria. I do too. I think most people would be vexed by it. I am also vexed when I accidentally burn my food. Lots of things vex me. I'm using the word incorrectly. I think vexed is... Is that more of like annoyed or is it a mixture of annoyed and confused? I'm not entirely certain on that point. From this place, we should go this way. Let's get some more healing going. Uh, chicken. And then some more goat's milk. I said some more goat's milk. There we go. Annoy more like, I see. Alright, what are we going to have over here? There's a rabid dog. We have discovered the Merchant's Bridge. What's happening in here? I can't see. Let's get out of here. There we go. Alright. So, I have not actually been in these houses yet. Let's see. Some Orins. Another person killed by the plague, or at least the panic that came from the plague. Abandoned hut. Oh, there's a big ghoul. Oh no, Geralt! Sometimes he doesn't respond to my response to my attempts at Oh, that's because somehow Ard got unlocked. Why does that happen? I really don't get that. I'm gonna reload really quick because I didn't it's just, I don't know. The, uh, that moment where for some reason my sign came off. Is it because I went into a new area? I think it is. Wait, whoops. I thought it saved actually over here when we went into the other hut. But it must not have because there was an enemy inside. That makes sense. Alright, so let's watch. I want to test this. Yeah, so when you go inside a new area, it, it gets rid of the sign that you have selected. Interesting. Alright, well now we can take him down. That's how that was supposed to go the first time. Ghoul contract. Oh, we actually have enough ghoul blood. We're we're swatting three flies in one hit. I'll take that. Oh, these are actually pretty cool alchemical ingredients. I believe they fetch a high price if you sell them. Hmm. And that's it. Time to go. I can't leave. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm still stuck. Maybe if I walk around a bit and then come back. Hmm. Uh, that's weird. I might have to reload again, actually, because I seem to be stuck in here. Make sure none obst no obstacles nearby, like props, walls nearby, as Garrett will just clank his sword off object and cannot use his attacks. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. Thanks, Madeir. I I like that mechanic, actually. Oh, we'll grab a bit more Celandine, actually. Why not? I feel like I already have a lot of it. But I believe it comes up later on. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. We're supposed to go this way. I'll grab that Hellebore, too. The 
ghoul, even in death, still vexed. Now then. I think I do want to go take care of some drowners. How's my inventory space doing? Pretty good. Was there a fireplace over here? There is a fireplace. Alright, we have talents to spend. Oh, and it's almost dawn, unfortunately. But, but... All I'm wondering about is, do I want to spend it on Ard? Or do I, wanna, do I want to spend it on my base stats? I'm thinking base stats, so then I can access some of these. So, we're just going to put them into strength. Uh, a big boost to vitality, as well as other things. We could put it into dexterity. And then we'll put one more into stamina. Raising our endurance even more. Cool. And then I'll probably do Ard next and get some of these. Like, my next three probably will be... These three is the plan. But what else have we unlocked now? We have Absorption. Enables Garrett to draw from places of power twice daily. Eh, that's so-so. Poison resistance plus 50%. Eh. And then that's a... Uh, is that a mutagen talent? No, it's not a mutagen talent. Regeneration plus 25%. That sounds really good. Uh, we already talked about that. That's useless. What else? Deflect arrows. Oh, I think I want that. And then parry plus 10%. And then this is brawl. Unlocks full array of moves during fistfights. I don't think I need this, but we'll put it on the back burner. I might. It, I'll see how it goes with Fat Fred, my second attempt. Strength. Uh, parry 10%, so we can get improve our parry chances even more. It'd be good to stack those. Vitality regeneration. And then unlocks power up during fistfights. I don't know. I don't know about that. Because it's only useful in fistfights, so if I can avoid it, I'd like to not spend talents on those, but who knows. True Grit. That was a great movie. Okay. Is there anything that I want to make in alchemy here? We can make a cat potion. We can make blizzard. <gasps> we can make the Frighteners Vision. Ooh. Okay. Where's the weakest uh, potion base? Let's use that. Now, for Frightener's Vision, we need the Eyeball. Oh, shoot, we actually need a stronger potion base for this. Hang on. There we go. The Eyeball of the Frightener. And now we also are going to need uh, some Vitriol. I'll use the Beast Fangs. Some Rebus. We've got plenty of Celandine. And then we also need some Quibirth. I think, right? Let me just make sure. Yep. Hmm, let's use the Bailey's fruit. Alright, just making sure we're all set. I have screwed up a potion right in the beginning in the, tutor in the tutorial section. Frightener's Vision, we did it. What else do I want to make here? Necro uh, necrophage oil could be useful. We can make more Swallow. We can make Tawny Owl. And white gall. I think I want to have a cat potion just to have as a backup in case I ever need it. So I'm going to do that. Mm. Celandine. And that has a secondary property of Nigrido. So if we can match that, that would be fantastic. We can. Which will improve our damage. Ooh, do I want to do that though and use all of my Mandrake root? I think I do. So this is cool. I'll show you guys now, if you haven't seen it, these secondary substances. Because all of these primary substances that have the Rebus and uh, Ebrith, they also have a matching secondary substance of Nigrito. So it's going to get an additional effect. Nigrito is going to slightly improve my damage, I think. Let's find out. All right, where is the potion? There it is, Cat Potion. Contains Nigrito as its dominant substance, so that worked. Grants vision in total darkness. Great! Now we can also make some Necrophage Oil. Let's see here. Now, for the oils, it doesn't matter. The secondary substance does not make the slightest bit of difference, so don't even worry about that. And Beast Fangs. 
And then we need ether, which we can use some hellebore petals. Great. That's it. I think I'll make a little bit more, or should I do specter oil instead? Hmm. We have plenty of time to make specter oil later. I think I'm going to make another necrophage oil, perhaps. Uh, we'll wait. We'll hold off. We can always make it later on. Okay, and rest. Mm -hmm.